Good morning folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Happy Easter to you, by the way. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you've been blessed by the Lord. You know, Easter is a very special time for Christians because we celebrate the resurrection of our Savior. Now, other religions don't have that opportunity, nor do they have that privilege. But our celebration about our Savior is that death could not hold him. He got up from the grave. And that's the best news that we have today. One of the things I want to talk to you about that's a little bit unusual this morning is about the prodigal son. In Luke chapter 15, it tells a story about a man that had two sons. One of those sons, we know to be the prodigal son, went to a far country. He asked his father for his inheritance, and he went to a far country, wasted all of his money in riotous living, the Bible says. And then he comes to himself, he finds himself in a hog pen, and he comes to himself and he says, I'm going home. And he gets home, and his father's happy to see him. They have a feast and a celebration, but the elder brother is not happy to see him because he had to stay home and work while the younger brother squandered his living. Now the story is very important for Easter because the young man that is the prodigal found himself in a far country, found himself in a hog pen, found himself looking at the hog's food and it looked good. And he recognized where he was. Let me ask you today, do you recognize, do you know where you are? Are you away from the Father's house? Are you out in the far country? You know, a lot of times at Easter, we have folks coming to church. You know, uh, sometimes they don't come throughout the year. They'll come at Easter and Christmas, which is fine. We're glad to have you anytime you can come. But sometimes people come just because they feel that it's important to do on Easter or Christmas when they don't normally come. But I want to just say to you today that you may be in the foreign country. You may be out in the world where you have wasted your life in riotous living, or at least you think you have. You might have wasted your time. You might have misused the Father's blessings like the prodigal son did. But as a result of that, he came to himself. He looked down at the hog food and said, it looks good. Now I want to say to you today, whether you're eating out of a paper cup, a paper plate, or crystal or fine china, hog food is still hog food. doesn't make any difference because the prodigal son looked down and he recognized where he was. And you know what he said? I'm going home. I'm going to the Father. Let me ask you today, do you need to come home? Do you need to come to the Father? You know, it's very interesting that a lot of people find themselves in a foreign land. Oh, we might be connected in some way to church. We might be connected some way to Christians, but really in our heart. You know, the Bible says in this 17th verse in Luke 15 that he came to himself. He had to be honest with him. Now let me ask you that question today. Are you honest with you? Do you really acknowledge to yourself where you are and what's going on with you? You see, you or I cannot receive help as long as we deceive ourselves. The prodigal son recognized where he was and who he was and whose he was. He said, I'm going to my father's house. And he did. And when he went to his father's house, he found a welcoming invitation to come back home. But everybody wasn't happy about it. The older brother wasn't happy about it because he had stayed home and faithfully worked. The father hadn't had this sort of celebration for him. But when the prodigal son came back, the father killed the fatted calf, put a robe on his back, put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. The older brother got upset. But the father said to him something very important concerning Easter. My son, your brother, we thought was dead, but now he's alive. You know, Jesus resurrected to give us hope and to give us strength and to give us power and to give us love and to give us mercy and to give us forgiveness. The Bible said if you don't forgive your brother, God can't forgive you. You know, the family of Christ, the body of Christ, sometimes they are the hardest on people that do wrong than anybody else. Oh, you can find a bunch of drinking buddies and they'll accept you pretty quick. But you find a church crowd, they rough on you sometimes. You see, the older brother had a point, but he didn't have a principle. He had a point, but not a principle. I want to ask you today, maybe you've been in the far country. Maybe you need to come to yourself. Maybe you need to recognize that you're away from the Father's house. It may, it may not all be celebrations when you get back because in the Father's house is the family. And the family sometimes don't accept like they should. But God will, in time, work that out. But what I want to say to you today is very important to understand. You see, the resurrection of Christ gives life. 
the prodigal son came back home and he received life. And they did not reward, the father that is, did not reward the prodigal son's action. He rewarded his location. He didn't reward what he had done about wasting his money. He didn't kill the fatted calf because he had gone out and lived wrong. He killed the fatted calf and they made merry because of his location. He would come back home. Let me tell you, in the body of Christ, we'd love to have you back. In the family of God, we'd love to have you back. From someone that's past the boundary lines. From someone that's strayed from the Father's house. The true believers and followers of Jesus Christ will be glad you're back. Come home today. It's Easter Sunday. There's no better time that I can think of to come back to the Father's house. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.